There is nothing simple about the 2025 Indian Scout lineup, except for the way Indian describes the bikes. They are cruisers, classic, and American-made V-twins that are just as much about heritage and body lines as they are cornering clearance and technology. That laid-back approach has worked well for Indian since the Scout was unveiled in 2014, quickly turning the model into the company's most successful platform. In some parts of the world, the Scout is the most successful mid-displacement cruiser, and in all parts, it's described as the most important bike to Indian motorcycles' future. For 2025, Indian is bringing five Scout models to showroom floors. Including the simple but elegant Scout Classic. The Slam Scout Bobber the light touring ready super scout the sport scout and its most aggressive middleweight cruiser yet the 101 scout that's a lot of scout but a bulk of the hardware is shared across models meaning indian isn't trying to confuse you so much as it's looking to give you options through stylistic upgrades in this video we'll take a closer look at the 2025 indian scout lineup exploring what's new and why these bikes continue to capture the hearts of riders around the world so stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe right now and hit the bell icon to get notified my future videos. Indian's liquid cooled, Speed Plus 1250 V-Twin engine is first on the list of components shared across the lineup. Measuring in at an even 1250 cc, it makes a claimed 111 horsepower in 101 Scout trim, and 105 horsepower when bolted to every other model, thanks to different ECU tuning, with all versions making a claimed 82 pound foot of torque. That's a 5 to 11 horsepower bump depending on model, and an added 10 pound foot of torque. The engine is new from the inside out, with big changes to the top end, including new pistons and larger valves, as well as a lighter crank the latter helping Indian shave nearly 10 pounds from the engine. A sleeper clutch was added, plus Indian spent a lot of time refining the inside of the engine to eliminate gear wine customers complained about on earlier generation scouts. Speaking of custom, Indian went to great lengths to give the scout a polished look. Electronics and necessary hardware are packaged neatly as possible, with most of the hardware tucked behind the frame's cast aluminum midsection. Out back you'll find a platform-wide subframe that allows accessories to be shared across models, as well as a new exhaust, which gives more space for accessory saddlebags compared to the more cumbersome dual muffler exhaust. Similarities fade from there. The Scout Classic, Scout Bobber, and Super Scout roll on 16-inch wheels, while the more aggressive Scouts have a larger, 19-inch front wheel. All bikes have a non-adjustable fork with 4.7 inches of travel, and dual shocks with 3 inches of travel, except for the slammed bobber, which has non-adjustable shocks with just 2 inches of travel, and the 101 Scout, which has a fully adjustable inverted fork with 5.9 inches of travel, and fully adjustable shocks. The 101 Scout also gets Brembo front stoppers and dual 320mm brake discs, versus a single 298mm disc in the other models. If that sounds more expensive than most of the other options, that's because it is. The 101 Scout comes in at $16,999, which is identical to Harley-Davidson's Sportster S, and mostly on par with the luggage-equipped Super Scout. The rest of the lineup is priced between $12,999 and $16,699. The wide price range is thanks mostly to Indian offering every bike but the 101 and Super Scout in different trims. Standard models get an analog gauge, LED headlight, and ABS. Limited versions have ride modes, traction control, cruise control, and a USB port. While Limited Plus Tech gets you all of the aforementioned features plus a 4-inch touchscreen display, keyless push-button ignition, and ride command, which opens the door to turn-by-turn -turn navigation and more. Well, let's take a closer look to 5 Indian Scout models for 2025. Number 5, Scout Classic. While the Scout Classic is at the bottom of that list, its ranking stems mostly from a lack of defining features compared to the other models rather than any major flaws. If you appreciate classic, swoopy fenders and an abundance of chrome finishes, then this bike checks the right boxes. Those fenders aren't a departure from anything we've seen on the Scout before though, 
and with its dearth of other defining features, the classic feels almost out of place in every situation. There's no wind protection for the highway and no slam suspension for that cool look around town. It exists as it should, but only in the shadows of the rest. Number 4. Scout Bobber The Scout Bobber is the most affordable entry into the lineup and also the most popular Scout model so far, but to love the Bobber and its 2 inches of rear suspension travel is to commit to a serious amount of quality time with your chiropractor. The stock suspension on Scout models already struggles with bump absorption, and losing an inch out back doesn't do you any favors. The Bobber's ergonomics are more aggressive as well, thanks to a low and flat handlebar that has you almost stretched out over the tank. All this adds up to a cool look when cruising through town and makes the Bobber a great platform for a custom build, but the sacrifices are a bit excessive for us, and it's exhausting having to be on the lookout for every pothole or manhole cover dotting torn up, downtown streets. Number 3. Sport Scout The Sport Scout is a lot like the Bobber in that it comes off as a great canvas for customization. A replacement for the Scout Rogue, it is not nearly as sporty as the sport name suggests, but there's a sense of potential in these bones. Handling knocks are not specific to the sport either, as all of the non-adjustable Scout suspension lacks bump compliance, and will cause you to deflect off sharp-edged hits in a very uncomfortable way once the pace picks up. The single brake disc gets the job done, but moving up to the 101 Scout highlights a lack of feel and power, compared to a full-featured, two-disc setup. Pairing Indian's accessory, 10-inch handlebar risers with the Moto-style handlebar that comes standard on Sport and 101 models gives you an idea of how aggressive the bike can look with minor modifications, and it's that custom bike potential that draws us to the Sport over any other feature. Number 2. Super Scout The Super Scout is the sleeper of the group, the only real downside being the higher price of entry. Look past that and you'll find one of the most versatile bikes of the 2025 lineup, with enough wind protection, comfort, and luggage for longer trips. Versatility comes in the form of the quick-release windshield, which mounts to the fork legs and can be removed in just seconds. Sidebags are not waterproof or lockable but offer decent storage and have an easy pull system for releasing the lid. Removing either of these gives you most of a Scout Classic. Worth mentioning here is that the seat isn't generously sized on any Scout, and we almost always got off the bikes wishing for a bit more support at the leading edge of the saddle. That is especially true on a bike that you'll do more touring miles on. The ergonomics are otherwise quite comfortable for taller riders. Forward controls come standard on all models but feel more like relaxed mid-controls, meaning the reach is not too far, giving taller riders enough legroom to not feel cramped. And number 1, 101 Scout. While we hoped the most expensive Scout wouldn't also be our favorite, the reality is that the 101's upgrades completely change the ride experience. Brakes are more responsive, suspension eats up rough pavement, and the 111 horsepower engine tune gives the bike a sharpness that suggests there's more to the tune than just a 6 horsepower difference. The $17,000 price tag is $4,000 higher than that of the $13,000 standard spec bobber that gets you into the lineup, but the 101 doesn't have to be an entry-level machine that you'll move on from. This is a bike you'll actually want to hold on to as your skills and wants as a rider grow. There's more than enough style, performance, and character to make this a long-term commitment. It's the Scout that you can ride fast if you want, but is equally as entertaining on a casual ride with friends. Moreover once you max out the options on the other Scouts, the prices are much closer. The beauty of the 2025 Scout lineup is that you don't have to agree with our rankings. You can find that one bike better suits your needs. And that's the point. There's something for everyone in this lineup, and enough accessories to create the bike that works best for you. Well, feel free and share your comments with us. Thanks for watching, and see you the next one.